This tutorial is designed to give you an overview of the four different types of posts that you can make into your Google Classroom and to go into detail about the announcements option. To get started, you would go to classroom.google.com and log in with your WCPS username and password. Once you log in, you'll come to a screen similar to this that shows you the list of classrooms that you have created and or joined. Select the class that you would like to post into. And once you're in, you'll find um, a plus sign in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Clicking the plus sign will give you the option to create an announcement, um, which is a great way to just post reminders and to communicate with your students. You will see the option to create an assignment, to create a question, and to reuse a post. We will look at reusing a post, creating a question, and creating assign an assignment in later tutorials. For now, we're going to look at creating an announcement. So you would simply click on the button to create an announcement. Um, let's say I wanted to tell the students that, um, to remind them of our field trip on Friday. So I could type in field trip Friday, please dress for weather, rainy weather. Now I have the option once I'm in the announcements to add an attachment. This could be a Word file, um, a PowerPoint, a PDF, any other file that you might have saved on your computer. You could add a Google Drive document so you could search um, for a doc or a form or something else that you've created. You can add a YouTube video or you can add a hyperlink. Now since I don't want to actually add a hyperlink at this point, I'm going to click the X button to get rid of it. You have the option with this down arrow to create this announcement in multiple classes. So if you wanted to send it out to more than one, you just check the ones that you want to send it to. Once you have created your announcement, you have two options. You can post the, the announcement right away, or you can save it as a draft. If you save it as a draft, it will be there for you to post at a later date. A lot of times it's nice to go ahead and get things um, typed up and ready to go without actually posting them because once you post it, it goes live to the students. So I often use the save draft option just so I can do things ahead of time without the students seeing them. I'm going to go ahead and post this assignment or this announcement. Now once it's posted, students can comment. Students also have the opportunity to post announcements into your classroom. If you would like to turn this feature off, you go under the Students tab here at the top, and you'll see um, students can post and comment. If you click that down arrow, you can turn it to where students can only comment or only teachers can post or comment. In our next tutorial, I will show you more about adding an assignment into your classroom.